Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a super fun and easy way to paint tulips in watercolor with this stained glass look. I started by adding masking fluid to dry, cold pressed watercolor paper and letting it dry completely. This will act as a resist to separate each of these small areas and it will be removed at the very end. Now the painting process. You can see I am adding clear water to the petals of the tulips and dropping in color to let it blend and spread naturally, wet and wet. I am using the cool tones in the Daniel Smith introductory watercolor set, and all the supplies and materials I used in this painting demonstration will be listed in the description. I am building up a peachy pink orange color, and because of the masking fluid I am able to paint all the petals in one go because as I said each section is self-contained and won't bleed into the adjacent petals. To achieve the stained glass look I am trying to vary each petals color for interest. So for example I will either add more pink or more yellow. For dimension and the look of shadows I am adding cool blue to the pink to make a purple for the base of the petals. While the paper is still wet I can keep dropping in color to the petals to make them really vibrant. I often paint realistic watercolors in multiple layers, but I wanted to paint this project all in one go. The next step is the leaves, and I painted these the same way, wet and wet. I used a cool blue and a cool yellow to make varying shades of bright spring green down to a deeper bluish green. I'm painting the stems wet on dry just because these are smaller areas and blending shades of green is easy enough when I can just pick up the bead from the paint application from before. I decided to make the little squares on the border the same orange as some of the petal areas. Using a limited color palette of just a warm and cool version of each primary color, like in this set, it is easier to make sure you have color harmony throughout your artwork. Just like the stems, I am painting the small purple rectangles wet on dry.
When choosing the background color, I wanted to make sure it didn't compete with the vibrancy of the pink petals. So I mixed a deeper blue-green from the same colors that I used to make the leaves, but just added more blue. These were painted wet and wet. While the paint was still wet, I used my clean damp brush to lift and wipe some of the pigment away, again just for variety and interest. This would also be a great way to experiment with using salt for textural effects. I used the same colors for the outer border and worked quickly to make sure the water didn't dry on the paper. I recommend you mix your paints in large puddles before you do this part because you don't want to have to remix before you're finished. I decided that I wanted to darken the outer border to add more contrast. To do this, I mixed in a warm red tone. This creates an almost black green blue. I added this directly onto the wet paper, but you could just as easily let it dry and glaze over it instead. The final step is the most satisfying, removing the dried masking fluid. Make sure the paint is completely dry before removing the mask. And if your layers of paint are kind of thick, be sure you don't smear the color. Just carefully remove it with your fingertip or a firm eraser. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more art videos and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me about watercolor painting or would like to suggest a subject for a future tutorial, please leave me a comment below. See you next time.